Hello everyone, this tutorial is for Reillusion and Cartoon Animator 5. In this video, I'm going to be showing you different things you can do using the Spring Bones feature with Cartoon Animator 5. The Spring Bones feature is a new feature that adds that little extra something to your characters, whether it be a bounce or a jiggle or a wiggle. And what I'm going to be showing you today is how you can use Spring Bones with your props. This tutorial, of course, assumes that you already know Cartoon Animator enough to know about props and characters and how props can be assigned to characters. Please learn that before you watch this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add spring bones to your props and props that you use with your characters. Here I have this character. This is Super Dude. As you can see, he's a Super Dude and he even looks like it. He's got a cape. Of course he does. Well, I even have an animation already with Super Dude doing his little walk. Strutting, looking pretty good. This animation, by the way, is already made. It is part of the package you can buy from Reillusion in the marketplace, part of the cartoon movements package. However, you notice the cape well, the cape just looks like a floating triangle. So we can probably do something about that and make it look better using the spring bones feature with Cartoon Animator 5. I'm not going to adjust the character, but I am going to adjust the prop. So I'm going to click on the cape that goes right here underneath Super Dude, as you see over here. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to my composer mode. In composer mode, I have the cape. Here's my prop. Using the new spring bones feature will be great, but first I have to add the bones. So we'll go over here to the bone editor, and I need to add a bone. When it comes to using spring bones, you need to start with a main bone. This is one that won't be affected by all the springingness. I'm going to start right here at the top of this cape. And I'm going to go over here to where it would be, you know, the shoulders. I'm going to put that there. But I've got to do the other side as well. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to add bone again and add to the original point. Now I have this, this bone here. There's bone one, and then the entire thing is bone two. This is your main bone. I say main bone so you know it's the one that doesn't get affected by the spring bones. I now have my main bone, but I want to make my cape have all these spring bones in it so that it can see more bouncy and flowy behind my super dude. So I'm going to add bones and I'm going to do it on both sides. Now I just kind of freewheeled it and added all the bones wherever I wanted to. But what I found is the smaller the bones, the more movement, the more rippling, the more waving. The longer the bones, the more it's going to look like slow flowing. Truth is, you won't know until you try it for yourself. Each prop is different. Each character is different. Experiment. Try it. That's what it's all about. Now that I've added my bones, let's put some spring in them. I'm going to go over here to my spring bone setting. Here we have this spring editor. Now, we want to make the cape flowing and springing, and I'm doing it here along these outside edges in order to show that. I have what I said was my main bone. Take this bone. This is the one that should not be springing. We have to start it off as the default. It is the main bone of this group. So, we have the default group right here. We want to assign this to this group, this bone, to this group. Look at that. Assigned to group is right there. Thank you for making it easy for us. Include child bones. Well, if we do that, then these will all be together and they won't spring or this will spring. So we have to take that out. The main bone does not include child bones. So we do want it to be in a group, however, that we can manage. So we assign to group and there it is. This is bone two, and now it's in this group. You can name that what you want, 
or its default. But we want to make this cape flowing. So let's go in and assign other bones that we can make springing. We want to assign all these bones to the group in which bone two is the main bone. This bone, the next one is now the parent bone. That means it will be moving and everything below it will follow it. If you include child bones, we see this button, we wanna click that now. Now, if we assign to group, this bone that you see highlighted in blue, this parent bone, all of these other bones turned red. That's because they now are assigned to this bone and this bone is now a spring bone. Now we go over and we do the same thing over here. Take this one, see how it says include child bones? Keep that selected. Now all of these are going to go with it when I click this, assign to group. There you have it. Just like that, we have now assigned spring bones to this cape. Let's see how it works. Look over here and we can preview it. That means I can go and test it. I'm going to click on my main bone. Remember that, the one not affected by springing? Oh, and look what we did. Now with our spring editor right here, we have all these different options with what we can do with our spring bone prop. Maybe we want it to be rubbery. So I'll click on that, even shows you what that might look like. Click on that, what's that gonna look like? Whoa, hey, that's a little different, sure. Oh, stretchy, let me try that. Oh, oh, that's like Doctor Strange or something. Hmm. No, just me. Okay, there's all kinds of options you can do here, but on top of that, if you look, here you have your presets telling you all these different options you can have, including weighted. Hmm. I don't like that. Light, hey, squashy, hey, that's a good one. Look at that, not bad. But then you can also control it manually down here underneath the presets right here in the default settings under property. So I want it to be really bouncy, but not quite as fast. I can adjust it like that and see what it looks like. Hey, it's kind of hypnotic. Not for me, but it's possible, right? So there you have it. Now we've completely rigged with spring bones, this prop. Let's go back. We've been in composer mode. Let's go back to backstage mode by clicking here. What's gonna happen with super dude now? Well, I've added spring bones to him. Let's see what he does. Hey, <laughs> okay, all right. It needs a little work, but that's still something that came out pretty good. We did this pretty quickly using that spring bones feature and other things that are available because of Cartoon Animator 5. Check it out and come back for more tutorials in the future as I show you things you can do and do quickly using Cartoon Animator 5.